ngayong taon ng ating kalayaan, handog po namin ngayong gabi. Ang Binibiring Pilipinas, 1998. the first 10 lovely candidates in the 1998 Binibini Filipinas. Good evening everyone, my name is Tisha Silang, I'm 22 years old and I'm representing the Filipino community of North America. Good evening, I'm Rashaka Valencia, 19 years old and I'm from Quezon City. Good evening, my name is Elsie Gaz, I'm 18 years old and I'm from Ajeres City. 
in our lineup of activities tonight is the swimsuit competition. Now we sent our ladies off on a little trip to Subic Bay Yacht Club and we videotaped them wearing their respective swimsuits. We'll be showing you that video a little later on. Now, aside from the uh, swimsuit, uh, or rather the Best in Swimsuit Award, we're also going to be giving away some other very special awards in this segment. These include the Miss Luck, Super Rich, Miss, uh, let me refer to this, Miss Vaseline Healthy Skin, Miss Close-Up Smile, Miss Pond's Beautiful Skin, Miss Slimmer's World, Binny Beanie Avon, and of course Miss Photogenic or Miss Fuji Film as we're calling it. Now you've met all our candidates earlier in the opening number and uh, they were in their red, white and blue gowns inspired by the Centennial. This time, let's welcome the first 15 candidates in their Gorgeous, gorgeous swimsuit. Taking up hotel and restaurant management. She's five feet eight inches tall and 
candidate number three, a 19-year-old college student from Pampanga. He stands 5 feet and 7 and measures 32, 24, 34 and a half. Yeah. 
Zambrano. A 23-year-old graphic designer. She's 5 feet 7 and measures 35, 25, 35. Born in Montebello, USA. She's 19 years old, stands 5 feet 4, and takes a face at 34, 24, 34 and a half. again, ladies and gentlemen, candidates 1 to 15. Thank you very much, ladies. You may now join your colleagues backstage. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a big hand. Thank you very much. And now, it's back to Rufa. Yes, thank you very much, Paolo. And right now, we have a very special guest. We have 1989 Miss Bini Bini Filipinas International who competed in the Miss International pageant in Kanazawa, Japan. And she won Miss Friendship International. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Leah and Benar. Hi, Leah. Good evening. Hi, Rita. Good evening. And it's a wonderful night here. Oh, yeah, I know. I was going to ask you, um, what do you think about the two-piece competition? Because, you know, Miss USA was just shown a couple of days ago, and most of the candidates were wearing bikinis. Mm -hmm. Do you think the Filipinos are ready for that? Well, Lufa, I have to say that maybe the male population would say that, yes, they are ready for that. But me, personally, I'm, I wasn't even comfortable wearing the one-piece, so I don't oh, know no. about the two-piece. Same here. I remember when I was parading around in my bathing suit, and everybody was just, like, looking at your legs. But like I said, it was the you know, scariest part. I mean, we wish we could do without it. <laughs> yeah, and I know, and of course, like we Filipinos are very conservative. We're always like so demure. Yeah. So um, I'd also like to ask you, how did you enjoy the Miss International competition mm -hmm. when you were there? Oh, it was wonderful. The ladies were, of course, wonderful to mm -hmm. me, and I'm sure you'll agree that it was fun and. You met a lot of people from different sure, countries, and that sure. was a wonderful experience. I know. I remember I met a lot of friends, and up to now, I still write to most of them. Exactly. And one of them just wrote to me. She said she just got married and wonderful baby, and I said, well, that's a wonderful thing for you. Well, what about you? What have you been up to since then? Mm -hmm. Of course, I went to college, um, mm -hmm. university at the FNL, and graduated in 1993, and mm -hmm. after that, um, I've been working for a broadcast company, a cable company, so I 
for SNN, I do some news casting and news anchoring. Yeah, right I now. always see you on the news. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You wake up that early. I know, <laughs> I know. Because usually when I come back from a trip, I have jet lag. So uh -huh. I feel, oh, no, that's Leah. Yeah. But anyway, so you have any plans for the future? Well, plans are, I plan to stay being a broadcast journalist and maybe, well, who knows? Uh, if you're asking about my personal life, um, I'm still planning. <laughs> you're still planning. So, Leah, you know, tonight, uh, the competition is basically divided into three major segments. That's the swimsuit competition, the evening gown competition, and of course, the grilling question and answer portion. My favorite portion. Your <laughs> favorite? Yeah, I wish they had it in the Miss International pageant, but... Oh, they didn't. No, they didn't have it. Yeah, I remember, because in the Miss Universe, they have it usually inside a cubicle, and then they ask you one by one. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the 10 semi-finalists will be chosen from the highest scores in these segments. And later on, before the final judging, we will be having the question and answer portion with five finalists. And of course, our judges have met all the candidates, and I'm sure they have their personal favorites. So, I'm sure all of you were dazzled with our swimsuit competition, but don't go away because we have 15 more lovely candidates to present to you when we return. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Araneta Coliseum and back once again to the swimsuit competition in the 1998 Filipino in Filipinas. Now, we've already seen our first batch of beauty. We're ready to bring in our second batch. Candidates 16 to 29. So power dance. Let's bring the ladies in, please.
candidate number 20, Maria Charo Carales. Charo is 22 and is a communication student at Centro Escolar University. She's 5'6 and measures 33, 26, 37. Number 21 is Rachel Soriano, a 23-year-old graduate of De La Salle University. She stands 5'9 and a half and sets the pace at 33 and a half, 25, 35. Candidate number 24, Camille Monasterio, a 19-year-old student from Naga City. She's 5'5", five five, and her body measurements are 35, 25, 33 and a half. and measures 36 and a half, 25, 35. administration student. She's 5 feet 9 inches tall and measures 33 and a half, 25, 40. Candidate 
is number 29, Maria Carmela Manahan, a communications graduate of Miriam College. She's 26 years old, stands at 5 foot 7 and a half, and measures 36, 25, 37. <laughs> Before the swimsuit competition started, there are other special awards to be given away by the judges tonight and by Bilibili Filipinas Universe and world and international as well. I'm sure every candidate is excited to know who among them will be the lucky ones, and I am too. So when we return, our special awards by the Bilibili Filipinas sponsors and my favorite, the Best in Swimsuit Award. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are going to give out our special awards, okay? Our sponsors have chosen among the ladies the uh, girls who they think best exemplify their products. Now, we will begin with giving out the Miss Lux Super Rich Award. So, to begin, the Miss Lux Super Rich Award goes to... Candidate number 11, Colette Centeno. Presenting the award to Miss Lux Super Rich is the assistant brand manager for Lux Super Rich Shampoo, Miss Carol Mortero. Congratulations, Colette. Our next award is for Miss Vaseline Healthy Skin. Who could it be? Miss Vaseline Healthy Skin is... Presenting the award to Miss Vaseline Healthy Skin is the brand manager for Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion, Miss Lisa Ramos. Congratulations, Elsie. Moving along. We have another special award that will go to the winner of the title, Miss Pond's Beautiful Skin. Now, there are many deserving winners here. However, the Miss Pond's Beautiful Skin Award goes to... <laughs> candidate number two, Precious Valencia. Presenting the award to Miss Pond's Beautiful Skin is the brand manager for Pond, Mr. John Evangelista. Congratulations. 
congratulations, Thresher. We will now present the winner of the Miss Close-Up Smile. Again, I see lots of deserving winners there. The Miss Close-Up Smile, rather, the award for Miss Close-Up Smile goes to... Presenting the award to this close-up smile is the assistant brand manager for close-up, Mr. Ronnie Beltran. Congratulations, Elsie. We have a very popular winner in the Seacut. And now for the title of Binibining Avon. Our sponsor's choice for this award is... <laughs> Candidate 21, Rachel Soriano. Presenting the award to Binibining Avon is the assistant to the general manager of Avon, Mr. Herman Martinez. Congratulations, Rachel. We have another special award to give. This is for the Miss Slimmer's World, okay? The Miss Slimmer's World Award goes to... <laughs> Candidate 14, Mara DJ Guzman. Presenting the award to Miss Slimmer's World is 1997 Filipino International Miss Chiki Brosa. Congratulations. Okay, our next award is for the Miss Sunniest Personality. Now, uh, the hosts, uh, me rather, and the two other hosts have had a chance to spend some time with these girls. And let me tell you, any one of them could take home this prize as far as we're concerned. However, the award for Miss Sunniest Personality is... <laughs> Candidate 25, Jewel Lobaton. Presenting the award to Sunny Personality. Miss Sunny Personality is the Vice President for Fly and Flight Services, Miss Patty Chung, and the Vice President for Marketing, Mr. Emilio Yu. Congratulations. Now, ladies and gentlemen, one of the more grueling activities in the pageant is the presentation of the candidates to the press, okay? Now, we've left the, uh, the choice, or rather, we've left the choice of uh, Miss Photogenic to the members of the press. They have voted on this. Uh, the, most pop rather, the most popular candidate will, of course, take home this prize. Now, I'd like to call on uh, our representative from SGV, our official tabulators. We are giving out a prize. Good evening, sir. Mr. Remejo Semenya from SGV. We are giving out a prize for Miss Photogenic. We have the results here. Miss Photogenic is... Candidate number three, Elsie Sikat. Presenting the award to Miss Photogenic Miss Fujifilm is Mr. Yu Kople, Chairman of YKL Color Lab. Congratulations, Elsie. 
And thank you to all our sponsors for those special awards. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our major award, the best in swimsuit. I don't want to keep you in suspense any longer. I know the uh, suspense is killing me. Our representative here from SGV, Mr. Semenya. We have the envelope. And the winner for the 1998 Binibining Pilipinas Best in Swimsuit. This award goes to... Candidate 11, Colette Centeno. Presenting the award to the Best in Swimsuit is Binibining Pilipinas 1993 Tourism, Janet Fernando. Congratulations, Colette. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, candidate, I'm sorry, candidate number 11, Colette Centeno, best in swimsuit for the 1998 Binibining Pilipinas. We will be back shortly. Please stay with us. Back here, live at the Araneta Coliseum. And with me is a very good friend of mine, the stunning Miss Alma Concepcion. Yes, good evening, Rufa, and good evening to everyone. I want to congratulate candidate number 11, Colette Centennial, for winning the Miss Lux. And imagine, Rufa, she's only 17, and she studied in London. Yeah, that's right. I remember you were 17 when you joined the pageant as well. Yeah, it brought me so many memories. Imagine, at the age of 17, that's really hard, but uh, it's a lot of fun and full of memories. Yeah, well, I believe she deserves her title. And others may disagree, but I speak from experience. And like they say, beauty is within the eye of the beholder. And, you know, being a beauty queen is not like a fun and play and looking beautiful it's a lot of hard work too right alma yeah i can imagine the and never ending um rehearsals, rehearsals and workouts and even uh, the lessons in the asian institute of Management. Yeah, socializing yeah. and even though we don't get enough sleep and we're always tired the best thing about it is we're always smiling and at the end of the day we're all happy and fulfilled and that's what bini bini filipinas is all about watch this the pageant helps us to understand what it is to be an ambassador of goodwill. With the Binibining Filipino Charities, we learn to look at the world around us, to understand other people's needs, and most of all, to discover that real beauty is not what you see outside, but what to project to other people from what is inside your heart. Because of this, the pageant's earnings go to the rehabilitation and comfort of children housed in various orphanages in Metro Manila. Binibining Filipinas Charities Incorporated likewise funds skilled training and educational workshops for the less privileged. Binibining Filipinas also extends assistance to calamity areas where thousands of disaster victims are in immediate need of food, clothing, and medicines. But being beautiful is not all work and no play. This year's batch of hopefuls were caught in a 10-day whirlwind of activities that were fun yet relevant. Friday, March 6th was the day the girls checked in at the Porsche Century Park Hotel, their official residence. Earlier that day, the girls went down to luxuriate in the amenities of the orchard in Cavite. Saturday and Sunday went by in a blur of television guesting. was roused Monday afternoon by the sight of stunning ladies in elegant tweed gowns by Manila's master designers. The press had the chance to meet the girls up close during a special presentation on Tuesday, March 10th. At the crack of dawn the following day, the ladies journeyed all the way to the Subic Bay Yacht Club, the country's only marina country club for the swimsuit competition. 
Bring some bodies blended perfectly in a recreation empire that was designed by nature and enhanced by man. Eleven of the ladies showcased their various talents at the Santa Lucia East Grand Mall on Thursday, March 12. A distinguished board of judges scrutinized the girls' performances in a pre-judging event. The girls did what they love best. Shop. They toured Santa Lucia East Grand Mall, particularly Pizza Hut. They did the law. Friday was charity day at the Araneta Center. The candidates frolicked with daycare center kids at the Fiesta Carnival. And in the afternoon, participated in a magnificent floral parade. Of course, who can resist more shopping when at the Alameda Commercial Center? These bells had a grand time going around with a Liver Swirl Trattoria Uno Fuji Avon and Floating Airlines Now, do you believe me that being a beauty queen is lots of hard work? Tonight, the candidates of Binibining Filipinas 98 will reap the fruits of their labor when the winners are bestowed the much coveted title. But one thing's for sure, all 29 candidates will always look back and cherish, especially the past and incomparable days with Binibining Filipinas 98 for the rest of their lives. Yes, and once again, I would like to congratulate Colette Centeno for not only winning the Lux Super Rich Award, but the Best in Swimsuit Award as well. And you know, joining a beauty contest is not only about looking beautiful, like I said earlier, it's also an opportunity to make good friends. Before the pageant night itself, you know, competition's really stiff and the girls are not that close to each other. But at the end of the day, everybody's really close and... Uh, they're, they end up being like real people with real concern for other people. Well, this time, we'd like all of you to meet our distinguished board of judges. Heading the list of our board of judges as chairman is the chairman of the Philippine Sports Commission, Mr. Philip Huico. Chile and his country's ambassador to the Philippines, His Excellency Ambassador Sergio Silva. From Spain and head of delegation of the European Union to the Philippines, His Excellency Ambassador Candido Rodriguez. From Washington, D.C., the former charge d'affaires of the United States Embassy in the Philippines, now senior partner in a prestigious Washington law firm, Ambassador Philip Kaplan. <laughs> Member of the Cabinet, the Secretary of the Department of Transportation and Communication, the Honorable Secretary Josie Lichauco. Director General of the Philippine National Police, General Santiago Alinio. <laughs> Prominent radio, TV, news, and public affairs broadcast journalist, Miss Mel Chanco. <laughs> the other half of the top-rated radio, TV, broadcast journalist team of Mel and Jay, Mr. Jay Sonza. <laughs> Binibining Filipinas and Miss International title holder, Miss Aurora Pihuan. 
From the USA, international business executive, Mr. Ernest Wong. Popular basketball star, Mr. Vince Hezog. And now back to you, our host, Rufa. Yes, what a very distinguished group right there. And right now, let's meet those who have made it responsible for, for having this pageant. I'm referring to the members of the Executive Committee of Binibining Filipinas Charities. And they are board member, Mr. Raul Alvarez. Another member of the board, Mr. Bert Timbol, Vice Chairman of the Board, Jose Petoy Moreno. Another Vice Chairman of the Board, Ms. Conchitina Sevilla Bernardo. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, the lady behind this all, the Chairman of the Board of Binibining Filipinas Charities Incorporated, Madame Stella Marquez de Araneta. This place is completely sparkling with all these beautiful women. Up next, when we return, is the 1998 Binibining Filipinas Evening Gown Competition. An important component of the Binibining Filipinas 1998 is the Evening Gown Competition, where the contestants will be judged according to their body proportion and structure, and who can best project elegance and poise in an evening gown. Aside from the winner of the evening gown competition, we are also presenting the other special awards, such as Miss Friendship and Miss Talent. And here to help me officiate the next segment of our beauty pageant is another young gentleman who is also a commercial ramp model, a TV host, and he has done several TV hostings on TV as well, including GMA's game plan on GMA. Please welcome Mr. Paolo Pedione. Thank you, thank you, Rufa. Good evening and welcome to the evening gown competition. Now all 29 of our candidates have been dressed up either by their favorite couturier or by the Binibining Filipinas boutique, which is exclusively for Binibining Filipinas candidates. And this being the senior of the Philippine Republic, will be decided to videotape our lovely ladies dressed in their gowns against the ruins of Intramuros. And this is the breathtaking result. Ladies and gentlemen, the BB Filipinas 98 candidates in their evening gown. Four, Isabella Cabrera. Number 
number five, Genesis Kanlapan. and repair. Cervantes.
candidate number 14, Maradi de Guzman. Salamat mga binibini. Breathtaking, each and every one of you. We are at the Coliseum. We will not keep you waiting any longer for the conclusion of the Best in Evening Gown competition. You've seen our first 15 candidates as they walked along the historic walls of Baluarte de San Diego to the romantic lilt of a, rom of a tune, love song rather, uh, musically arranged by Mel Villana, vocals by Pat Castillo. Now that's just a little trivia for those of you who love Filipino music. Imagine the city of Intramuros, Manila within its walls. People enjoying their chefs at three in the afternoon, waking up at five for a leisure stroll at sunset. Beautiful, isn't it? The old fort at Manila was the perfect spot for a lady in their evening gowns to showcase their beauty and elegance. And so friends, may I present to you the rest of the candidates in their evening gowns. Starting off with candidate number 16, Miss Mia Ann Alteza.
Winnie Maria Chado Palalo. Number 21, Rachel Soriano. Number 28, Nana and Bella Pena. Number 
number 29, Maria Carmela Manahan. ever be held such a beautiful sight. Let's give them another round of applause, please. Each and every one of you beautiful. In a moment, we shall receive the decision of the Board of Judges in the evening gown competition. Welcome back to the Araneta Coliseum for the results in the evening gown competition. At this point, I'd like to ask uh, our SGV representative, the official tabulators of the Binibini Pilipinas, to please join me up here on stage to hand me the envelope. <laughs> Mr. Remedio Semenya. Good evening, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Semenya. Actually, I have in my hand three envelopes. The first one, we're going to start to give off a few special awards this evening. As you know, the candidates had a lot of pre-pageant activities. One of them was a trip to uh, Santa Lucia, East Mall in Cainta, where these ladies in front of you performed hidden talents in public. Talents such as singing, dancing, orating, and even acting and many other talents. And so, the name of the award is Miss Talent. Okay. As you can see, it's sealed. And this uh, very prestigious award, Miss Talent goes to candidate number. Silang. Presenting the award to Miss Talent is the 1975 Bidibining Pilipinas Maha, Miss Anjanette and Annette Liwanaki. Together with a title, Tisha will also receive 20,000 pesos. Congratulations, Tisha. Thank you, ma'am. As Rufa has testified earlier, the Binibini Pilipinas pageant is a place to be a friend and to make a lot of friends. And if you were with me backstage, a lot of these ladies have been very good friends. So as you know, the name of the, of the title is Miss Friendship. kind of hard to open these envelopes. Okay, Miss Friendship is candidate number...
13, Mara D. de Guzman. Presenting the award to Miss Friendship is 1993 Binibining Filipinas Look of the Year, Ana Gonzalez. Now, as you know, all of the candidates took a vote and they chose Mara D. de Guzman. And now, I have in my hand the envelope for best in long gown, best in evening gown. I can see you have your favorites at this moment. Okay, hold your breath. Okay, best in long gown is candidate number... Twenty-five, Miss Jewel Lobaton. Presenting the award to the best in the evening gown winner is 1994 Binibining Filipinas International, Miss Alma Concepcion. Congratulations, Jewel. Once again, please take a bow. Round of applause for Jewel, best in evening gown in the 1998 Binibini Filipinas. I'd also like to thank some special people. Subic Yacht Club, Mr. Milton Schlucker, Subic International Hotel, Michael Wilson, and the Intramuros Administration, Mr. Dominador Ferrer Sr. A great part of women's attraction to the Bidibining Filipinas beauty pageant is the fabulous prizes it has to offer. Here's 1996 Binibining Filipinas Universe, Eileen Damiles, 1992 Binibining Filipinas Universe, Lisa Barroya, and the 1994 Binibining Filipinas International, Alma Concepcion, to tell us more about the prizes. Some people may say that beauty is only skin deep, but the Filipina is one lady who exudes charm and elegance inside and out. This year's crop of winners will pamper their already lucky selves with these remarkable beauty products from Unilever. The winner's crown looks even more elegant on hair that is gloriously shiny, manageable, and soft. This year's winners will receive a gift package from Lux Super Wheat Shampoo to nourish her lustrous hair. Filipinas look great from a distance and up close, especially if they possess that dazzling close-up smile. Binibini Filipinas Universe, International and World will each receive the gift package from close-up toothpaste to keep their teeth sparkling white and their breath refreshingly clean. The sun, wind, and dust can be cruel to the Filipinas' flawless skin. A gift package from Pond's All Control Skin Softener will certainly keep that impeccable Binibini Filipinas complexion soft and smooth all the time. Binibini Filipinas Universe, international and world, will enjoy summer without fear if they smooth on the nourishing magic of Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion. The winners will each receive the gift package of Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion to achieve that all-over healthy glow on their tender skin. Beauty, brains, and bright packaging. Complete the equation of today's successful Filipina. The loveliest and smartest of this year's crop of beauties will receive the following prizes to keep the power image of the next generation of Filipino women. 
a picture of the Filipina is always a cherished treasure. This year's winners will receive their supply of Fuji films and cameras exclusively distributed by YKL Development and Trading Corporation. Always make sure that exquisite experience of beauty is captured with Fuji films and cameras. Feminine figures fit for life. Bini Bini Filipinas 1998 winners will keep their statistics vital and desirable anytime, all the time, with a cherished lifetime membership from Slimmers World International Philippines. Beauty products from Avon makes the Filipino of you shine. The three most enchanting ladies of Bini Bini Filipinas 1998 will each receive a gift package of Avon products. Winning a Bini Bini Filipinas title is more than just an experience of a lifetime. It is also the dawning of new worlds to conquer. And this year's Cup of Winners will definitely go places with this marvelous prize. Binibini Filipinas Universe, international and world, will win a shopping privilege worth 150,000 pesos from the Binibini Filipinas Boutique. It's shopping time. New opportunities and remarkable careers await the three winners of Binibini Filipinas 90 with a precious talent management contract, each worth a hefty 150,000 pesos. Finally, the best girls of Binibini Filipinas 98 get to travel to the most exotic places of the world first class, the Philippine Airlines way. Binibini Filipinas International shows the bustling hub of Tokyo, Japan. Binibini Filipinas World explores the secrets of exotic seashells island in Africa. Finally, Binibini Filipinas Universe says aloha and mabuhay to the paradise of Honolulu in Hawaii, the best destinations for the most entrancing ladies. All from Philippine Airlines, the exclusive carrier of Binibini Filipinas 98. There are a lot of wonderful prizes at stake tonight. And now, the Coliseum is in suspense because Paolo is going to announce the 10 semi-finalists. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to a very important highlight this evening. We are about to announce the 10 semi-finalists. At this point, I'd like to ask our representative from SGV, Mr. Remejo Semenya, to join me up here on stage to hand me, the, hand me the envelope. Thank you very much, sir. Here we go. In no particular order, let's start off with candidate number... Fourteen, Mara D. de Guzman. <laughs> Joining her is candidate number... One, Miss Tisha Silang. Please the crowd, and on this case, we have Charlene Cervantes, candidate number 17. Fourth, we have Risa Padilla, candidate number six. We're about halfway through. We have candidate number 21, Rachel Soriano. <laughs> Joining the rest, candidate number 13, Cielito Zambrano. Now we have candidate number 25, Jewel Lobaton. And we have Colette Centeno, candidate number 11. Ninth semi-finalist, we have candidate number 4, Isabella Cabrera. complete our list of 10 semi-finalists, we have candidate number three, Elsie Seacott. <laughs> now each of this 
course of the semi-finalists have been reverted to zero which means each and every one of them will have an equal chance to be chosen as one of the five finalists. And these five finalists, from them will be chosen three lucky ladies. One will be sent to the Miss World Beauty Pageant, the other to the Miss International, and the last one to the Miss Universe Beauty Pageant. Good luck to all of you ladies. Rufa, how are you doing up there? Yes, Paula, we can feel the excitement here at the Coliseum as everyone is cheering for their favorite candidates. Let me just summarize the program, what we have just concluded, all right? Miss Talent was candidate number one, Tisha Sila. Miss Friendship was number 14, Maradi de Guzman. Best in Evening Gown is number 25, Jules Lobaton. And the best in Swimsuit is number 11, Colette Centeno. And of course, our top 10 candidates is number 14, Maradi de Guzman. Number one, Tisha Salang. Number 17, Charlene Cervantes. Number six, Risa Padilla. Number 21, Rachel Soriano. Number 13, Shalito Zombrano. Number 25, Jules Lobaton. Number 11, Colette Centeno. Number four, Isabella Cabrera. And number three, Elsie Sikat. We will all have a chance to know our semi-finalists more intimately when Paolo Bedionis returns to talk to each one of them on the program. If your candidate is in the top 10, this is your chance. Cheer for them. We'll return after these. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the 10 semi-finalists in the Binibini Filipinas 1998. Now, this is the only part when we get to know the 10 semi-finalists a little better. Up close and personal, we'll find out more about their personalities, their likes, dislikes. You'll get what I mean in a while. So let's start off with candidate number one, Tisha Silang. Tisha, please join me up here, please. Hello. Hi, her. I'm okay. Okay, my question is, how do Filipino communities preserve their tradition and culture in a foreign land? Basically, us Filipinos who are growing up and living in a foreign land are just the same as the ones here. We preserve our culture by our parents teaching us uh, the same morals and values as the Filipinos here. And as well, through um, as I do, I folk dance, and that's some way that I preserve my culture. Thank you. Thank you very much, and congratulations on winning the Miss Talent Award. Let's go to candidate number three, Miss Elsie Sikat. Hello, Elsie. Hello. Okay, so Elsie, if you had a chance, if you had a choice, rather, would you work abroad like your mother? Um, probably no. I would rather use my talent here in the country since we are not that progressive. So I'd probably work here so that we could, I would create a name in the Asian tiger industry like that. Thank you very much, Elsie. We move on to candidate number four, Miss Isabella Cabrera. Hello, Essa. Hi, Paolo. Okay. Essa, you like watching movies. What's your most favorite? Um, among those I've watched, uh, I like Jerry Maguire the most because I can relate to the movie very well, and um, the movie has affected me a lot. In fact, there was once a time in my life that I was like him. I had to re-evaluate my personal mission statement. I, I have to re-examine what I really want in life, what, what should be my values, what should be, what I really want in life, and how to go about getting my dreams. Thank you very much, SI. <laughs> Next, we have candidate number six, Risa Padilla. Risa, join me up here, please. Now, Risa. You come from a political and showbiz family. Which field would you prefer? Well, I would, if I have a choice, I think I would like to try my hand at both because both are worthwhile causes, you know. Um, my dad was a politician and my brothers are actors. But I guess um, I would may better serve my country if I could be a politician. That's Thank you very much. Risa Padilla. Okay, we have candidate number 11, Colette Centeno. Hello there, Colette. Hi, Paolo. 
Okay, Colette, you're a bowler, right? Um, can you tell us a little more about this? Well, actually, bowling runs in my family. My dad's actually a coach, and my granddad is a lifetime president of the British Tempion Bowling Association. So I guess it runs in the blood. So what's your highest score? 250. 250. I can't even break 100 sometimes. Well, thank you very much, Colette. Thank you. We have candidate number 13. Cielito Zambrano. Hello, Cielo. Good evening. Yeah, you're a disc jockey and at the same time a graphic design artist, right? Which, which of the two do you find more interesting and why? Well, basically, I find both of them interesting because I use both my creativity in being a newscaster and also being a graphic designer. Thank you very much. Cielito Zambrano. We have Maradi de Guzman, candidate number 14. Hello, Maradi. Hello. So, how did you get your unusual name? Well, Maradi is a combination of both my parents' names, which are Marianne and Freddie. Okay. So, um, you're into water sports, right? Could you give us an idea of how we could preserve, like, the seas? Well, first of all, you have to be aware um, of the damages that can be done by dumping chemicals or other um, wasteful products in the ocean. Um, you have to remember that there's also aquatic life down there and um, the majesty and the beautiful creation that God has made under the water as well. So. Thank you very much, Maradi. <laughs> Candidate number 17, Charlene Cervantes. Hello, Charlene. Hello. Okay, Charlene, do you think Filipinas have achieved gender equality? I think Filipinas have come a long way. We still have as far as just as same as other countries, we still have a long way to go. So hopefully, you know, with the, by representing the Filipino women in this pageant, we can help further gender equality. You admire your mom, right? Aside from your mother, who else do you admire? Well, I admire all the women in my family. All of them are strong, and they've all helped support me in, in any decision that I've had to make. So. Thank you very much, Charlene Cervantes. <laughs> okay, candidate number 21, Rachel Soriano. My, you're tall. Okay, Rachel, why do you like unusual sports? Well, actually, I play um, dragon boat rowing and rock climbing. I like these unusual sports because they are usually played by men. And when I reach the top of the mountain or I reach the finish line, I get a sense of fulfillment knowing that I reached the end and that I'm a woman. Thank you very much, Rachel Soriano. Finally, we have Miss Jewel May Lobaton, candidate number 25. Hello there, Jewel. Hello, Paolo. Jewel, why do you think having a happy family is important in succeeding? It is very important to have a happy family because I believe that family is the basic unit of our society. Everything that comes out in this society comes from a father and a, f a mother being the model so I believe that I have to make a good and happy family in the future because I want to build a, a, fa a country that is also successful and uh, prosperous. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jewel. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies. Now I know the judges here will have a much harder time to decide who among you should be in the top five. In the meantime, I shall call you up here on stage one by one so our uh, judges can take a closer look. Start off with candidate number one, Tisha Silang. <laughs> candidate number two, Elsie Sikat. <laughs> candidate number three, sorry, four, Isabella Cabrera. <laughs> Candidate number six, Risa Padilla. Candidate number 11, Colette Centeno. Candidate number 13, Cielo Zambrano. Candidate number 14, Maradi de Guzman. 
Candidate number fifth, uh, 17, sorry, Charlene Cervantes. Candidate number 21, Rachel Soriano. Finally, candidate number 25, Jewel May Lobaton. All right, ladies, um, please form a straight line. We shall now do our quarter turns for the judges and the rest of the people to see. So on my signal, take a quarter turn to your right. Now. Another turn, quarter turn to your right. Now. Another quarter turn to your right. Now. And you may face back the audience. Now. Thank you. Keep on smiling. The Miss International Beauty Pageant in 1978. Well, the long waiting period between that year and now was finally broken by a Filipino beauty queen who won the Miss International Tourism Beauty Tilt in Macau last August 1997, where 19 other countries vied for the title. Not very many people can be aware of that because Binibining Pilipinas did not conduct a local contest here to choose our representative. Instead, Binibining Pilipinas chose this lady whom they thought would do the job really well. Ladies and gentlemen, as she winds up her chores as Miss Tourism International, the Binibining Pilipinas Beauty Pageant is proud to present here to all of you. Please welcome Miss Tourism International, Joan Sapanta Santos. I have walked the same stage when I relinquished my Binibining Filipinas crown to my successor in 1996. But tonight, I am here before you to share once more my happiness in having won the Miss Tourism International Crown. As my name was called during the coronation night, Last August 29, 1997, I thought about my country. For I am sure that back here, I have made you all proud in having won the very first Miss Tourism International title. A first for the Philippines indeed. To my successor, I wish you good luck. And rest assured that I will be on hand to help and support you in your time. Filipinas Charities Incorporated, I thank you for the support you have given me through all these years. And I can proudly say that I have lived up to your trust. When you designated me to be the country's representative to the first Miss Tourism International Competition held in Macau. To my parents and to the joys of my life, PJ, my brother, and my sisters, Carla and Carissa, who have inspired and supported me through all these endeavors. And to all of you, my kababayans, inihahandog ko po ang aking Miss Tourism International Crown sa inyong lahat. Nagpapatunay na hindi po uli ang dalagang Pilipina sa ganda at talino. Thank you and may God bless us all. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the soulful, raspy voice behind the hit theme song of the telenovela, Ikaw Na Sana, Viva Recording Artist, Butch Montejo, serenading our 10 semi-finalists in the Pilipinas 1998.
We are almost at the end of our program, and now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce yet another co-MC for our program tonight. He's a familiar figure to all of you who enjoy watching ballroom dancing on TV, a great dancer, an actor, and a singer as well. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all welcome Mr. Alvin Anson. Thank you, Rupa. It's my pleasure and privilege to be working with you again, and of course, to be with all these lovely ladies tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, in a very short while, we'll be announcing the top five finalists. So here they are once more. <laughs> Ladies, I know how difficult it is for all of you to contain your nerves tonight. But this was how our Board of Judge has decided. I will now call the top five finalists from among you. And each time I call one of you, you must step forward to be recognized. These names are at random, and I repeat, not ranked according to scores. Now, may I ask the representative, Mr. Remeo Semenya of SGV, for our <laughs> final Hello, sir. Thank you. We'll start with our first finalist. Candidate number <laughs> Candidate number three, Elsie Sikat. Our second finalist for tonight is candidate number... <laughs> candidate number 11, Colette Centeno. Finalist number three is candidate number. Twenty one, Rachel Suriano. Our finalist number four is candidate number. Our last finalist is candidate number Congratulations to our finalists. Get ready now for our ultimate round where we shall choose the three lucky winners of the 1998 Beating Filipinas. Back to you, Rufa. Okay, everyone cannot contain their excitement. Everyone's just respectively cheering for their candidates. Okay, um, the top five finalists, number three is Elsie Sikat. Number 11, Colette Centeno. Number 21, Rachel Soriano. Number 1, Tisha Silang. And of course, number 25, Jewel Lobatan. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen, with Paolo Bediones for the question and answer portion. Ladies, congratulations for having made it this far. However, the final ranking will depend on one final test, a question and answer. So I will call one of the ladies up here front. The rest will go to the back, the isolation booth, where all they will hear is piped in music. So let's start off with candidate number one, Miss Tisha Silang. The rest. Hello, Tisha. Hello. 
Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, here's your question. And this question will be the same question I will ask all the other candidates. Tisha, we are celebrating the Philippine centennial this year. That's 100 years of our freedom or independence. How would you, as a Binibini Pilipinas, continue to protect and promote that freedom? I think just as being a role model to women, I think that that's enough to preserve our freedom. Freedom is something that sometimes we take for granted, and I think that this year's independence celebration is very important to um, preserving our freedom. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tisa Silang, candidate number one. Next, we have candidate number three, Ms. L.T. Sikat. Hello, Elsie. Hello. So what's the music playing inside? Jazz. Okay, enough for you to relax. So here's your question, if you're ready. Okay, Elsie, we are celebrating the Philippine centennial this year. That's 100 years of our freedom or independence. How would you, as a Binibini Pilipinas, continue to protect and promote that freedom? I would, uh, create, I would establish a group, an organization for, for the youth out there so that they could actively participate in building our nation to progress, like engage in some activities which are anti-drugs, and to go to, to go to school because I believe that education is the best way to progress so that we can actively participate in building our nation to progress. So, uh, Thank you very much. Ms. L.T. Seekett, candidate number three. <laughs> Next, we have candidate number 11, Ms. Colette Centeno. Hello, Colette. Hi, Paula. How are you feeling? Nervous. Okay, so am I. Colette, are you ready? Okay, here's your question. We are celebrating the Philippine centennial this year. That's 100 years of our freedom or independence. How would you, as a Binibini Pilipinas, continue to protect and promote that freedom? Well, as a Binibini Pilipinas, um, first of all, if I win one of the major titles, Hopefully, I'll be able to bring the bacon back to the country in time for the centennial celebration. And um, freedom, what I think is doing and believing what in yourself and doing whatever you want. Thank you very much, Colette. <laughs> Next, we have candidate number 21, Rachel Soriano. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Paolo. So, how's the music inside the isolation booth? It was very loud. Okay, that's so that you don't hear the question. And are you ready? Okay, here's your question. Rachel, we are celebrating the Philippine centennial this year. That's 100 years of our freedom or independence. How would you, as a Binibini Pilipinas, continue to protect and promote that freedom? Um, I will encourage everybody to be independent and um, to believe in themselves because that's where, that's where it should all start. And that we should do all join together in promoting the freedom that we have received 100 years ago. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Rachel Soriano, candidate number 21. <laughs> Finally, we have candidate number 25, Ms. Jewel May Lobaton. Hello, Jewel. Hello, Paolo. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Jewel, here's your question. We are celebrating the Philippine centennial this year. That's 100 years of our freedom or independence. How would you, as a Binibini Pilipinas, continue to protect and promote that freedom? Okay, if ever I would make it as Binibini Pilipinas to promote freedom and independence, of course I would start it within myself because I believe that because I believe everything comes from within. I should radiate goodness, happiness, and love to other people. Because with love, there is freedom. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jewel May. Please join the other finalists. <laughs> Ladies, can you join me up here, please? Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for, for their answers, please.
Ladies and gentlemen, 1997 Binibining Filipinas World, Christine Rachel Florenda. <laughs> Christine is the only six in Ibining Pilipinas World title holder when she won the crown last year. She was also the recipient of several special awards during the beauty pageant. She was Miss Close Up Smile and also the Miss Sun Silk Nutrient Shampoo and Miss Uji Film. Aside from these awards, she was also judged as the five sunniest personality. Christine represented our country in the Miss World Beauty Pageant last November 22nd at Seychelles Island. International, Ms. Susan Jane Ritter. <laughs> Susan just flew in from a vacation in Australia to join us tonight. She ably represented our country in the Miss International Beauty Pageant in Kyoto Kaikan First Hall, Kyoto City, Japan, last September 20th, and was chosen as one of the 10 semi-finalists in the competition. Winning awards is not new to Susan. Last year, during the Binibining Filipinas Beauty Pageant, she also won three special awards, Miss Pond's Beautiful Skin and Miss Slimmer's World. She has been keeping herself busy as a commercial model for print and television and also on the ramp. as well. Let's welcome Miss Abigail Arenas, 1997, Binibining Filipinas, Miss Universe. <laughs> Abigail represented the Philippines in the Miss Universe beauty pageant held at Miami Beach, Florida last May. During the pageant, she was also voted Miss Photogenic in a public poll conducted via the internet. Abigail, a fashion modeler par excellence on the ramp, started modeling when she was 17 years old. She's also busy doing commercials for television. Many will remember that during the Binibini Filipinas beauty pageant last year, she won the awards for Best in Swimsuit and Best in Evening Gown, and a special award as Miss Avon. I'd like to acknowledge the presence of our former Binibining Filipinas candidates and our beauty queens before. Yes. They're here all watching us right now. <laughs> Isn't it such a thrill, Alvin? Yeah, I bet. And I can't wait for the final result. 
How exciting. Our second runner-up goes to... Candidate number three, Elsie Sikat. Presenting the award for the second runner-up is 1990 Filipini Filipinas, Lisa Beroya. For the first runner-up goes to... Candidate number 25, Jewel Lubaton. Presenting the award for the first runner-up is 1996 Binibini Filipinas Universe, Eileen Damiles. World is number 21, Rachel Soriano. Bidibidig Filipinas International is number 11, Colette Sinteno. And Bidibidig Filipinas Universe is candidate number 1, Tisha Silang. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the award to her successor as Bidibidig Filipinas World is Miss Christine Rachel Florendo. Presenting the award to her successor as Binibining Filipinas International is Miss Susan Jane Ritter. And presenting the award to her successor as Binibining Filipinas Universe is Miss Abigail Arenas. All right. Thank you and congratulations to the winners. I wish them all good luck when they leave to compete in the international pageant. Thank you, Rufa. Yes, and let me thank you also, Alvin, and of course, Paolo Abrera and Paolo Pediones for emceeing the program tonight. See you all next year for Filipinas 1999. And congratulations once again to 